Hi kids! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang permutation with restriction. So, dalawa ang episodes na ito. So, this is the part 1 wherein yung part 1 natin ay n is equal to r. Ibig sabihin, yung number of objects ay equal do sa number of objects na itetake natin at a time. So, gagamitin lang natin ang formula na npr is equal to n factorial. Wala tayong nasa denominator dahil again, n is equal to r. Okay? So, let's have the example. In how many ways can you arrange three boys and four girls in a row if letter A, there is no restriction? So, dahil walang restriction iyan, kahit saan, pwedeng pumosisyon yung boys and girls. So, ang gagamitin natin dyan ay n factorial. So, n is equal to 7 dahil meron tayong three boys at saka four girls. So, for letter A, we just use 7 factorial. So, is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 5,040. Okay? Again, dahil wala siyang restriction. Next, letter B. Dito tayo nagkaroon ng restriction. Boys are grouped together. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Ang boys daw ay laging magkakatabi. Katulad dito sa illustration natin. So, boys, boys, boys. And then, girls, 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 girls. Ibig sabihin yan, yung boys ay kailangan na laging magkakatabi, yung girls pwedeng pumosisyon kahit saan. So, yung boys pwedeng mapunta rito sa gitna ng girl, tapos tatlong girls. Pwedeng malipat pa siya kung saan-saan. Basta, ang boys ay magkakatabi. So, dahil dyan, itetake natin sila as one. Okay, so dahil dyan, ilan lamang objects natin? So, one, two, three, 4, and 5. At tandaan din natin na ginagamit natin ang formula na ito kapag ang objects ay distinct or magkakaiba. Since tao ang pinag-uusapan natin, kaya applicable naman ang formula na ito. So, itetake natin ang boys as 1, kaya meron lamang tayong 5 objects. So, we have 5 factorial. Kaso, dun sa magkakatabing lalaki, pwede silang magpalitan doon. So, sa loob niya, mayroon tayong 1, 2, 3 na i-arrange pa and that is 3 factorial. Kaya, magiging 3, 5 factorial times 5 factorial siya is equal to, so meron tayong 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so ito ay yung 5 factorial. Ito times natin sa 3 times 2 times 1. Ito yung 3 factorial. We have 5 factorial is equal to 120 times 3 factorial is equal to 6 is equal to 720. Okay, next letter C. Girls naman daw ay group together. So, dahil girls ay group together naman, itatake natin sila as one. Okay, so meron lamang tayong one, yung mga babae, and then two, three, four. Okay, so meron tayong four objects na i-arrange. So, that is four factorial. Kaso, mayroon tayong girls na maglilipatan na magkakatabi. Okay, so kahit kasi magkakatabi sila, pwede pa rin silang magpalitan doon. So, meron tayong Girls na apat, i-arrange natin sila 4 at a time, so that is 4 factorial is equal to, so 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, ita times natin sa 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Yung 4 factorial ay ito, 4 factorial din, syempre pareho sila, is equal to 24 times 24 is equal to 576. Okay, next letter D. Boys and girls are grouped together. So, dito naman sa restriction na ito, kailangan daw ay laging magkakatabi ang boys, ganun din magkakatabi rin ang girls. So, dahil dyan, meron lamang tayong dalawang objects na i-arrange. So, that is 2 factorial. Okay? Ngayon, yung boys, pwedeng magkabalibaligtad sila kahit sila magkakatabi. So, that is 1, 2, 3. Ita times natin siya sa 3 factorial. Ganon din yung girls kasi meron tayong girls na magkakatabi pero maglilipatan din ang mga iyan kaya meron pa tayo ritong 4 factorial. So is equal to 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Ito times natin sa 3 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1. Ito times pa natin sa 4 factorial. So 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6 times 24, itong 4 factorial is equal to Okay, next letter E Boys and girls alternate 
Ang ibig sabihin nung alternate, ibig sabihin ay halinhinan sila. So dahil mas marami ang girls sa boys, ibig sabihin laging una yung girls sa ating row. Kaya meron tayong girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, and then laging huli yung girl. So dahil dyan, meron tayong four spaces na magpapalitan yung girls Okay, at saka meron tayong spaces na magpapalitan yung boys. So dahil yung girls doon lang sa space na iyon, meron tayong 4 factorial. Ita times natin sa boys na mayroon 3 spaces lamang that is 3 factorial. So ito lang ating i-multiply kaya meron tayong 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Ita times natin sa 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 24 times 6 is equal to ways. Okay? Ngayon may magtatanong, paano po sir kung magkapareho ang bilang ng lalaki at babae na mag-a-alternate? Okay? Sa kasi nga, kapag ang restriction natin ay mag-a-alternate sila, either mas marami ng isa yung isang group or pareho sila ng bilang. So kapag pareho sila ng bilang, ang additional lang natin na ilalagay dito ay magta-times 2 tayo. Let's say meron tayong 4 boys and 4 girls. So, meron tayong spaces sa una na una ang girl. So, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, and then girl, boy. Okay? And then, may isa pa tayo na mauuna naman ang boy. So, we have boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, and then girl. So, dahil dyan, yung una, may space tayo for girls na 4. So, that is 4 factorial. Ita times natin sa spaces ng boys wherein meron tayong apat na spaces so that is 4 factorial. Tapos mag additional tayo rito ng 2 factorial dahil pwedeng mauna yung girl, pwedeng mauna yung boy. Okay? Again, itong 4 factorial galing sa spaces ng girls, yung 4 factorial galing sa spaces ng boys, yung 2 factorial ay galing dun sa pwedeng mauna yung girl, pwedeng mauna yung boy. So, so yun lang yung additional dito sa step na ito. Let's have the next example. There are 3 different math books, 3 different English books, and 4 different science books on a shelf. In how many ways can you arrange these books if... Letter A, there is no restriction. So, dahil walang restriction, so gagamitin lang natin dito ay 10 factorial dahil mayroon tayong 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 books. So, pwede nyo nang gamitin yung calculator nyo rito. Pwede rin yung sa cellphone, ilanscape nyo lang siya katulad nito. Okay, so makikita nyo siya dun sa baba. 10 factorial is equal to 3,628,800. Okay, next, letter B. Math books are grouped together. So, dahil math books are grouped together, meron lamang tayong one object. We will take it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 8 factorial. Ita times natin siya sa 3 factorial. Dahil yung magkakalapit na math books ay pwedeng magkabalibaligtad. So, 8 factorial is equal to 40,320, ita times natin sa 6, which is 3 factorial. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 241,920. Next, letter C. English books are grouped together. So, dahil English books are grouped together, we'll take it as 1. So, meron tayong 1 plus 3 math books and 4 English books. So, meron tayong... Uh, 8 pa rin. So, that is 8 factorial. Ita times natin sa 3 factorial dahil tatlo yun na English books ang pwede magpalitan na magkakatabi. So, 3 factorial is equal to 241,920. Okay? So, pareho lang sila. Letter D, science books are grouped together. So, ita take natin sila as 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 factorial times Yung science books na magkakabalibaligtad dito, na magkakatabi, so that is 4 factorial is equal to, meron tayong 5,040, yung 7 factorial, ita times natin sa 24, ito yung 4 factorial is equal to 120,960. Okay, next for the last one, books of the same subject are grouped together. So dahil dyan, meron tayong 1, 2, 3 lamang na object. 3 factorial times. 
Pwede magpalitan yung math books na magkakatabi, tri-factorial, times yung English books, tri-factorial, times science books, we have 4 factorial is equal to, 3 factorial is 6, times 3 factorial is equal to 6, 3 factorial is also equal to 6, times 4 factorial is equal to 5,184.